Hi everybody, so do you remember this painting, Snowflowers? This painting I finished with resin. If you haven't seen the original video, I'll link it here. I just think um, it's beautiful with resin. I'm just, want to remind you to be safe and wear a mask when you use resin. Um, some of us can be quite allergic to it, so I don't do it very often, but my client who bought these two pieces asked for resin. This one's called Firefly, by the way, and they asked for resin and I was happy to accommodate because they are very, very important to me. And well, all my clients are important to me. So I love the way that the resin brought out the gold sparkles. Just this painting is so shimmery anyway. Um, <clears throat> but the resin just gives that beautiful glass-like appearance and just really brought out the metallics. Speaking of metallics, so this is just a plain uh, artist loft white, but I'm making this shimmery base coat. Um, I use 50% white and 50% flowchall plus this shimmer dust. It is mixed with, there's the flowchall that I use, and it's mixed in a 16 ounce bottle. And the shimmer dust is, this is the gold sparkle. You can order it in my Amazon shop. There's a link in the description box below. And it's Bling It by Leslie Onstad's Color Art. So this is a primary element pigment. And the sparkle on this is gorgeous. It's like a, it's an interference color is what it is. So it's transparent. You're not gonna get a heavy metal look, just a light shimmer. And look at that. I'm going to do an instant replay. <laughs> bling, 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 bling. It's so blingy. It's so pretty. I'm totally addicted to this iridescent um, shimmer it's gold sparkle dust. It comes in a bunch of different colors you can see in my shop. And each one of those, the red, the green, um, the gold, it just provides an interference look. And then I add some of this acrylic pearlescent mi mixing medium. This is by Sargent Art. You can order that in my Amazon shop. It basically turns any paint into a pearl undertone. So that's a fun paint to have. This is a 20 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas. And I love these edge canvases. They're so pretty. I also love my patrons. Thank you so much, you guys. You know, um, you're totally and completely awesome. Your support is crucial, and I really appreciate those of you that support. We have to keep this channel and all of our channels uh, alive as YouTube gets more and more popular with some of the big name stars coming in. There's a lot of ways to support the little guy. Um, donate a tip, share with others, watch of course, shop Amazon links, and don't forget to buy art. We gotta buy art to support our artists. So I wanna say one second. Um, You've seen three videos in a row with flip cups for me. So I just, I don't know, like three weeks ago or so, I just had this epiphany. I just never do them. And I have been one, I've been kind of stuck in a rut. Whenever I'm stuck in a rut, I want to try new and different things. And this is just an area that I have not done very much of. So it came to me that I should maybe try doing some flip cups and some mixed media, which I also have been doing. So those two things help sometimes get you out of a rut if you're in some kind of a rut. So I decided to do another flip cup and I guess this is a flip and drag considered. There's no silicone in any of this. It's just the natural paints just responding with each other. There are different densities causing cells and lacing, and the flow trawl also does help with the lacing for sure. And I'm trying to leave a little bit of negative space on this one. That was part of the plan 
originally. Here's a little flash of the colors that are used on this one. And basically the same colors I had used for my tree. Now I decide I put all of the colors in a little cup and I wanted some definition around the flip and drag. So see how the flip and drag is very um, kind of loose, I guess I would say. It's not very defined. I wanted some defined lines. So I just layered a little cup. This is a little two ounce cup and layered the colors down the side. And then you saw me pinch the edge together to form like a little spout. And then I just went around the canvas and see it made all those perfect little lines. You know also the way that you turn your cup changes the colors that will come out. If you ever don't like the colors that are coming out, just give your cup a little turn and the paint will shift inside of it and another color will come out. <laughs> It's a little, little tip and trick. You always learn little tips and tricks if you listen to my channel. I think of them as I review the videos, honestly. So, this airbrush is... I love this airbrush. I love the effects it gives. You can shop the airbrush at my Amazon store. It's the one that I recommend. This one I got used online so it did take a long time for me to find one that was reasonably priced because they do hold their value pretty well people were asking the used ones almost as much as the new ones so but I got this one used and the thing is you want to be able to control the amount of air that comes out and that allows you to have a lot of more control over the paint so that's why I recommend the one that I do below. I decided I wanted a little more boldness. Some of that red paint had just fallen to the bottom. And so I thought a good way to do that was to make some little drips and just add the accents where I wanted them. So I just put some little drips of the red and use my airbrush to push it out into the negative space. And this is where I saw the dragon and decided I was gonna make its, you know, skin or whatever very spiky and ornate. So that's what this is. Just adding some drama to this piece and that is the dragon that I saw <laughs> right there um, I'm zooming in because then I fiddled forever I literally cut out like 45 to 55 minutes of video and I was just doing stuff like this I just take little skewers and adding some beautiful little details some fine work and no one's it's not illegal no one says you can't do this this is how you create a lot of the little special effects in your paintings. As long as it looks natural, no one will even know. Let's try it. So this is the whole painting and I really love it. Dried, it's very, very shimmering. This is not the best light, but I wanted to show all of the beautiful sparkly uh, metallic finishes you can contact me if you're interested in this one I think it's gonna be amazing after it's varnished a lot of that will come to life along with the shimmering base coat that I had put on there but you can email me or uh, I'm basically Heather Mater art on all social media platforms Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to make more art videos just for you. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe and hit all notifications so I can make more art videos just for you.